Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ryan here. I am currently testing out the deals and the CRM component of Apollo.io. And so far, pretty good. Uh, I, I, I like what I'm seeing here. I created a couple of test accounts to just sort of take you through what I'm uncovering and discovering about the deals section of, of Apollo. I know most folks who get Apollo, they get it because they want a database of names and email addresses and phone numbers, and they want to sequence people. But if you are considering either a switch to another CRM or you don't have a CRM and you want to mature into one, maybe get off those spreadsheets and other, other, you know, mundane or, or, or static tools that you're using to manage your, your pipeline, you can move into more of a uh, dynamic environment with uh, Apollo. Uh, you know, I am a big um, supporter of using the least amount of tools as possible to perform your day-to-day -day functions as a salesperson, but also as a sales organization. If you can find one tool that does it all, why not do it? I mean, yeah, you can add a couple pieces here and there, maybe to get an extra 5 to 10% efficiency if that's enough to really move uh, the needle for you. Or if that's going to have a big impact, fine, you know, go ahead and do that. But uh, this deal section here or the CRM functionality that's in Apollo is uh, is pretty cool. So I want to take you through that, uh, show you what I've, I've uncovered so far. So to get there, you just go to deals. It'll take you there. Uh, the filtering criteria is going to change a bit. So you're probably used to using Apollo's filtering criteria for finding companies, employee ranges, tech stack use, intent signals, whatever, right? Email addresses, verified, phone numbers. This is actually for managing your your deals and your, your pipeline and also your forecast. So I went ahead and just created a East Coast sales pipeline. Uh, you can create as many of these pipelines as you want. So if you're managing multiple teams based on region or um, maybe it's a specific market segment that they're, they're, they're working in like... Um, state and local government or private equity or finance, whatever it may be, you can kind of set those pipelines up for those specific lines of, of your business. Okay. So these are three deals that I put in. These are not real deals or just fiction, but they are good for uh, demonstration purposes only. Before I go into that though, to create a new deal, you literally just create, click new deal, give it a name. If you've used any sort of CRM before, you know how to create a deal. It's not that complicated. The deal stages, they come with our Apollo comes with a ton of deal stage options by default. So it'll be up to you to pick out which ones you want, add, remove, um, or use. But there's pretty much everything under the sun you can think of from something as simple as discovery all the way to uh, proof of concept, all the way to deals won or closed, um, closed one or lost. Amount, pretty straightforward. Put your money in there uh, or the dollar value of the uh, actual deal. The two custom fields that come by default are lead source and type. So these are pretty standard, but you can always go ahead and add more custom fields. So this could be if you're tracking, let's say monthly recurring or annual recurring TCV versus ACV, those different breakdowns. Maybe it's software licensing versus non-software related um, licensing or, or or revenue that's coming in from the deal so there's all kinds of possibilities there and, and and flexibility that you'll have when creating those those custom fields if you were to click on a deal it's pretty cool i'm sorry if you click on the account name rather it takes you back to your standard um, account screen which is really cool that you can kind of check that out if there's a deal attached to it just click on deals and of course that deal view will come up and now you have you know, your, your Ohio State University, 5,500 bucks. The deal stage we're in is um, deal stage five, which is agreement, updated an hour ago. I added the uh, next step field here. So if you want to click on that, you can. That'll take you into the actual um, uh, deal itself. But for, uh, you know, next steps, you can update next steps pretty much from uh, two areas. If you go to all fields, I think next steps comes up in here. I don't know. Yep. So next step, you just click on it. You can update the next step. So if you're having a one-on-one -on -one with your manager or vice versa, you can go ahead and update the steps. If this is something that is required as far as your playbook is concerned or your methodology or your flow, go right ahead and add your next steps here. Um, you can add additional fields too, if you want. So if your business gets super complicated and there's specific things that you need to track uh, on the deal itself, you can go right ahead and, and do that. So I thought that was pretty cool. And 
for the deal itself, if you click on the deal name, it'll take you to the actual like full deal screen. And you can add your contacts here if you want to. You can add tasks directly from the deal, uh, conversations that took place, notes, emails, calls. Uh, obviously, all activities are bring everything together. Um, you can also take notes, log a call, add a conversation. So the conversation, when it says add a conversation, it's important to clarify that what that means in Apollo is a recorded call. So if you have any recorded calls from meetings that you had with a prospect, that would be here. You can go ahead and listen to those. This is really good for managers who are trying to break down and analyze a deal and decide whether or not that deal is something that is going to um, be forecasted or not. Okay, uh, you have different views. So if you don't want to use this little box you're using, you can have this like little kind of flow uh, flow view if you want to look, look at it that way. Um, I don't know if that's even what it's called, but I call it a flow view. So there's that which I thought was really cool. Um, you can also do your update or next step notes here. Now you can customize this here. So if you wanted to add additional fields or additional columns. So right now there's, you know, deal next step date is one that's available. Here's some account data that you might want to pull over. Um, it could be anything from the industry that it's in, uh, the account stage, uh, number of employees, if you want that stuff like at your immediate, um, disposal, you'll be able to have that um, for you. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, what's really cool that I like is the forecast categories. So if you want to, as a manager or a rep, say, okay, listen, you, Florida, just had a really good call. The things are looking really good. I'm going to go ahead and commit this deal uh, in my forecast, and I'm, but I'm going to bump out my close date um, to the 30th. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because I have um, – some additional uh, information that I have to gather, or maybe I'm going through an infosec process, contract review that's going to push it out. But right now I feel really committed. I just heard from the executive buyer and the sponsor that they're going to go ahead and move forward and they're looking for our, our commercial terms to, to move forward. So whatever the conversation is, or whatever the talk track is, um, you can uh, go ahead and do that. Now I'm showing you how to use Apollo's CRM deal manager and forecast view as if you were only going to use Apollo. They do integrate obviously with HubSpot and of course uh, Salesforce. So if you want to sync up your uh, deal history from one CRM into Apollo, just so your reps are only working in one, one place, that's great. Your reps can update their accounts and their deals from Apollo and that stuff can go into HubSpot. It can go into Salesforce. So even though you're harping on your reps to update the CRM, you don't necessarily have to have them working in Apollo and then working somewhere else uh, or going somewhere else to update notes. All that stuff can be synchronized. But what I'm showing you is if you just want to spend less money and you felt that your use case and the way that you operate your business, you felt that or believe that based on whatever evidence you have that you can use Apollo and Apollo only to run your business, which I believe you can. Uh, there's enough here. There's enough meat on the bone, enough of a feature set, enough of a capability for you to not only build lists, prospect, book meetings, track the progress of those meetings, but now you can also take it even further by tracking your deals, the pipeline value, uh, deal stages, forecast categories, next steps, notes, coaching opportunities are going to be here um, for you as well. So I thought that was really cool. Um, what else can I show you? So under stats, this is a great place that you can obviously, I think you can maybe do some stuff here. Yeah, you can add some filters and, and things, but as you are building out your pipeline and moving things along through your, um, your, your pipeline, you will be able to uh, basically have data, your, your win rates, uh, conversions, pipeline conversions, uh, your team leaders, which reps are doing the best. So this dashboard can be shared for you as a rep individually, and then of course for uh, management as well uh, to check out. So I thought this uh, was kind of a, a cool thing as well. When you add a new pipeline though, let's go take a look at that real quick. So let's say you want to add a new, a new pipeline. Let's just call it, well, we're going to call this one the West Coast pipeline. In case you want to see what that looks like, click on save. Great. So here we go. These are all of our uh, stages that we have. 
if you want to add more, you can, but these are like the basics that we're using for uh, our pipeline. Looks good to me. Okay, cool. So now that's in here. The East Coast pipeline has 43 stages. Uh, West Coast only has seven, but again, if you want to, um, you know, you can create some stages uh, and, and add them as you see fit. Be honest, that's a little confusing there. I'm not sure why East Coast by default had 43 and then West Coast only has seven, but it does. So you got your deal roles. These are obviously folks that are part of the buying committee. Um, the folks that are in these companies that you're trying to sell to, these are some of the default fields. You can build your custom fields here as well, but you get uh, you get the picture there. So that is pretty cool, I thought. Uh, very easy to use. Looks really um, you know just straightforward and 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 pretty simple to uh, to to use. So I'm sure they're going to continue to add on and you know do more with their capabilities with deals and uh, CRM management and um, forecasting. So thought this was kind of cool. Um, the other thing I, I want to mention too, is that if you wanted to, by default, they already have MedPick and Banton here. So if these are things that you want to actually use, you can. So like, you know, metrics, you could add economic buyer decision criteria. So all the stuff that you would normally update on your MedPick, um, on your med pick sheet or your med pick fields in your CRM, you can go right ahead and do that here. Uh, they also have Banton here as well. So this stuff is already like prepackaged. So for $99 a seat, you're getting a lot. That's all I'm trying to say here. So uh, any questions, hit me up, let me know. I'm sorry, this video is a bit all over the place. And, but again, it's just like a kind of like a freestyle video that I want to put together. Um, but the biggest takeaway is just to drive your eyeballs towards this thing called deals that they have that could be, a really good uh, interim solution if you're going from Excel spreadsheets to a CRM. This could be a, a good uh, stepping stone or place for you to stop first without having to take on additional expense in your tech stack. So, or if you're just unhappy with your existing CRM and you want to just scrap it, save the money, and be like, I just use Apollo, everything is in one place. Then you know you can go ahead um, and do that too. So, check it out. Let me know what you think. All the best, and I'll see you soon.